Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial video. Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I will introduce you a new library. This, li this library about recycler view. As you can see, we have several image and several texts are here. Uh, this effect come our library. We will learn uh, today. Like this, there are some uh, custom properties you can uh, use in your project. This library extremely uh, seems good. Okay, let's start the video. First of all, I want to create a new project. Casual Cycler View. First of all, of course, uh, we have to add our uh, library implementation inside our module type with Gradle. Just pass this dependency, you can find my GitHub repository. And also we will use data binding on this project. And also one more plugin we have to add inside our setting gravel, gradle this jetpack url and we can click the synchronize now and of course we have to open our internet permission users permission internet like this ok now i want to create our data class or do this I want to create one package this package name will be our model and just give staff and of course data class we have two parameters first parameter uh, name will be string and URL will be Okay, one more class we need stuff items. We will define our items inside this class. Let's create one function define data. It's uh, array lists or staff let's create one object uh, from our staff data class and name will be Burak. and image url will be this And yes, as you can see, uh, I created four objects from our staff folder and I put uh, that things, that object uh, inside the array list and this function return our. I mean, you can ignore this, <laughs> these names because it's not a real project, it's just a, a simple tutorial video. And now let's go to the, our uh, layout package. I want to change this uh, layout type to data binding layout and remove this text view otherwise I will use this carousel recycler view. 
and of course we have to open uh, we have to create uh, our item layout staff item I don't want to waste too much time uh, creating this device we will define our uh, binding parameter in here staff and it will be staff and of course staff.url and this will be name as you can see, I created a binding parameter in here. This binding parameter uh, can come from our staff uh, model, and we will we can use this step model uh, constructor parameters uh, in here URL and uh, name staff name and URL. And yes, uh, okay, we created, we completed uh, to write our design codes. Let's uh, create our image adapter for uh, for get images uh, from internet using binding. For the list inside the root pack, root package, uh, I want to create one more class. This class name will be image adapter, like this, and it will be a binding adapter. We will call URL. And inside this, instead of this uh, class, I will create a function image view dots. What image? And URL type will be string. And we forgot to add uh, glides library inside our uh, dependencies. Let's add quickly. And inside the image adapter glides we will use glide library for for get images images from internet with uh, this dot context that loads our URL and into this okay our uh, binding adapter is ready we will use this binding adapter inside our uh, recycler view item in here as you can see okay now uh, let's create our staff adapter for recycler view and yes our staff adapter uh, looks like uh, this is a really simple recycler view code you can from you can find this codes from internet as you can see we have a data set and this data set contains array list uh, staff or staff uh, model and staff item binding uh, we will use and staff step and our binding uh, and our binding object step is equal to dataset positions. This step came from our item recycler we we created in here. Okay, our adapter also ready, and now we can jump into uh, create our view model. And of course, I forgot to add view model dependencies inside our 
projects and let's add like this you can update this library versions let's create a package this package name will be vmodel and inside this package activity main vmodel and this inherits from vmodel This is our uh, view model. We created a step value. Uh, this value is a multiple live data and cons contains uh, a real list step. And uh, we didn't use uh, this parameter uh, in inside the view model. We will use inside our main activity. And we have a init function. And inside the init function, we will. Uh, we will add our value inside our step value. We have to sum code inside our view model, inside our activity. And as you can see, I defined three parameters are here. Uh, for, param for first parameter for our binding view model and adapter, let's define our binding in here. And binding equals to activity main binding dot inflate on binding dot root okay and this is uh, we define it our we model in here and we model that step value that observe this and observer and adapter equals to our step adapter and it's home binding dot carousel recycler view dot adapter equals to our adapter and home binding that curves recycler what that recycler view that and uh, we use it uh, inside this code blocks uh, our carousel recycler view uh, properties for example inflates through 3d items through like this okay i think our project is ready let's try to run and yes our application uh, working fine you can use this library inside your project thanks for watching see you in the next video